Hey seventh graders, I just want to do a quick little video here. Um, I'm going to have you do a couple IXLs that review integers and absolute value. I don't think that you'll have trouble, but I wanted to clarify a couple things before I assign them to you. Um, some of them will just ask you to place numbers on a number line. You've got positive and negative. Some of them will ask you about the absolute value. Remember that the absolute value is the distance a number is located away from zero. So this example is one that I pulled off of your IXL. It says, this number line shows a point at five. What is its distance from zero? Well, if zero is here and five is here, it is one, two, three, four, five units away from zero. Then it says, what is the absolute value of zero? Well, we know that absolute value is the distance a number is from zero. So guess what? They're the same. Just another example here. This number line shows a point at negative seven. What is negative seven's distance from zero? Well, even though it's negative, it's still located seven units from zero. That's why the absolute value of negative seven is positive seven, because it's seven units from zero. Now that you go through those examples, it, it might give you some, and it says, look at the points of the number line, which number has a greater or a larger absolute value? So, in this case, the larger number would be three, and that might feel obvious to you, but it is three units from zero, and two is two units from zero. On the back of your notes, I gave a negative example. So it says, which number has the smaller absolute value? Well, the absolute value of four is four. The absolute value of six is six. So four, negative four, would have the smaller absolute value. Negative four is four units from zero, and negative six is six units from zero. So pay attention if they're asking for larger or smaller. The other words that you might hear are opposite. The opposite of positive 20 is negative 20. The opposite of negative 17 is positive 17. Absolute value does is not the same as opposite. Absolute value is the distance from zero. How far is positive four from zero? Four units. How far is negative four from zero? Four units. The other types of problems you might see are ones that they want you to compare. So for example, who is greater? Negative 67 or negative 83? Well, it might seem like 83 is bigger, but because it's negative, it actually is smaller. So the Pac-Man would be eating the larger number. I always think about who's colder. Negative 83 is colder than negative 67. So colder numbers are smaller numbers. The last type of problem I think you guys will see are putting them in order from least to greatest. They have you move these tiles. So if you need to, imagine those number lines of yours. We've got zero in the middle. Negative six would be here. Negative five would be here. Four, three, two, one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six would be here. So if I were putting these in order, negative six would be the least. Then we would have negative five then zero would come, and then six would come. So it's just a good idea to get some review our number sense. We've got those MCA tests in April, and we haven't looked at this stuff in a while. So um, I would like you guys to do these four strands. I know it seems like a lot, but they will move along pretty fast. Make sure you ask your substitute if you guys have any questions.